Oh. Oh. oh, God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Far too much like hard work. Looks like we'll just have to make do with what's here. Excellent idea. Now, let's have a look in the fridge. Oh, Ooh, something what have you find in there. Very what? interesting indeed. Oh, yes, I won't you. Oh, look, I've got oh, God, some carrots, oh, oh, oh. some aubergines, some zucchini, some mushrooms, and some squash. So you couldn't find anything to eat, then? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I say, didn't we pass a vicar on the way in? Oh, yes, we could whip up some pasta a la pasta. No, 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 the deep fryer. Ooh, that's hot. Careful. And there you have it. A lovely little snack. Ooh. Oh, mm. Lovely. Oh, that looks absolutely delicious. Do you mind if I have a bite? Oh, please do. <laughs> and that's my recipe for uh, deep fried lady fingers. <laughs> my feet are killing me. Tell you what, though. They taste marvellous. Oh, happy I could have mm. <laughs> I'm rather keen to try some of your cheese on toes, actually. Very mm. tender. Oh, she's so much like you. Oh, that would be Deb's husband, Mick. Deb oh. couldn't make it today. So how's she going? Oh, God, I was hanging out for playgroup. She hasn't been out of the house for a while. I know what you mean. Come in, Mick. Oh, thank you. And if you don't mind, I do prefer to be called Michael. OK, so would you just like to pop in here, pop up on the bench, pop your clothes off? I'll pop out and pop back in shortly. I'm Poppy, by the way. <sighs> I just really want to treat myself today, Poppy, so give me the works. OK, Sue. Well, I'm just going to give you a little gentle neck rub using essential oils of basil and pine, OK? Now, these are wonderfully soothing if you've got a cold or something like that, OK? Now, I just want to assure you that all my products are completely natural. They're not tested on animals in any way. I like to test them directly on my clients, OK? We can skip the steam and move straight on to a beautiful, relaxing skin peel, OK? Oh, good. That's coming away beautiful, Sue. OK. Now, let's have a little look at your bones. Right. Now, there is a lot of build-up of bone marrow in your bones. That's OK. That's fine. I can do a quick scrape of that for you now and get rid of all of that and just rehydrate your bones using essential oils of lavender and almond, OK? Now, I'd just like to move down to your neck area, so in your chesticles, and just get rid of some of those spare ribs for you. up the wriggle section for you, Sue. Now, Sue, your heart seems to have stopped, Sue, so I'll just let you rest now, OK? I'll just pop out and turn over the tape, and when I pop back in, I'll give you a lovely cardiac massage, OK? And I'll call those arteries and tint that left ventricle. It's just looking a little bit grey, Sue. OK? <laughs> Baby shower, Mum. Yes, I know that, Kimmy, love. Um, Sharon, did I tell you the menu for today? We've got your cocktail frankfurts, we've got your saveloys, we've got your little boys, and we've got your mini red sausages, all right? What about some Hunt's footy franks, Mrs. D? No, nah, Sharon, I think they just confuse people. Um, Kim, love, what did you want to have wine-wise? I want Cardinal, I told you. No, I think the correct pronunciation is Chardonnay. No, Mum, it's Cardinal, it's French, the H is silent. Oh, really? No, no, Kim, I think your mum is right, I think it is Chardonnay. Yeah, well, Chardonnay, 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 you pack of shunts. <laughs> oh, Sharon, love, can you please go and shut that toilet door and straighten up the heat to his sign? That's the visitors. Oh, it's exciting. That's the team of my best friend. Oh, oh no, no, tell her about an hour ago, she can't come. Well, I hope she's got a good excuse. Oh, yeah, she had to stay home and dry a pair of jeans. Oh, well, I don't give a stuff as long as she drops her present off. Kim, speaking of presents, can I give you mine now? Yeah. Close your eyes. 
A potato peeler from Coles. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. gave me one of these for yeah. my kitchen tea, well, Sharon. It's a bloody baby shower. It's a joke, Kim, don't you get it? Well, it's a bloody stupid joke, Sharon. <laughs> All right. Forget about the joke, but you know how, like, indoor cricket is a thing I absolutely love more than anything in the whole wide world, but I had to give it up. Yeah, because the coach hated you and you couldn't afford it. Yeah, well, that wasn't the real reason. The real reason was because I wanted to save up the money so that I could buy this for you and your beautiful baby. Oh, Kim, it's beautiful. It's been nearly a year, but, you know, I hope you like it. Yeah, well, thank you, Sharon. No, it's... I just lost some sense of humour with your stupid jokes. It's quite nice. Oh, thank you. Good. Oh, quick, quick, look. Somebody get that door. I cannot leave these pineapple fridges at this light stage, please. Me, my missus do. Oh, it's a beautiful present. Sharon, you know, you know, love. Um, yeah, that, that one the other day, that's coon that's been cut into cubes, and that's cabana that's been sliced. Mm, sounds lovely. Yeah. Thank you. No, not yeah. for you. I reckon it's a corker of a shower too, Kimmy. It's just, you know, it's a shame none of your friends could be here, but see, you've got some really nice prezzies. Yeah, none for me, all for the bloody baby. This is a nice pineapple fritter. It's a little bit burnt, I'm afraid, but they're still nice. What about nice little baby, Kim? Have you thought of anything yet? No, oh, there's a yeah. girl. I love Tiffany. Spelled oh. T Y P H P H A A double N triple I. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, really nice. Look the name. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know the name I really like? Amber. Spelled A M B U H. Amber. Oh, I said before that is nice. It's nice. It's nice. I do. 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 I Oh, that's lovely. No, no, but I'm not having a colon in my kids' name, Mum. Oh, no right. one. Oh, what about all the old-fashioned names? I love them. Victorian names, like Glenn Wively. Oh, that's nice. Why would you think about that? Isn't it right? Oh, yeah. Oh, Kim, what about your Prezi? Show us what you've got. You've got, what's that? Tommy TV nail clippers. Lovely nappy stacker. That'll be useful. Hey, what's that bottle down there? Oh, that's a gas bottle for use in labour when things get really rough. Hey, well, I'll give it a go. Yeah, yeah, go on. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's unusual. Just an outfit. Like, oh, oh, my God, be water. It's all gone into my house. 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 Kimmy, look at that. 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 This news update is brought to you by Australia's Colonial. Good evening. Victoria remains without gas. The energy crisis could last at least two weeks and cost millions of dollars. John Howard hits a legal snag on the home stretch of the campaign trail. Bird owners warned to keep their pets indoors to avoid new outbreaks of the deadly Newcastle disease. And the end of an era in Germany with leader Helmut Kohl voted out of office. And we'll have more news later tonight. Tomorrow, a parent's nightmare that could happen to you. Their child taken away because a neighbour complained. Plus 24 hours, one family and no gas. At the moment, it's inconvenience, yeah. Today, tonight, 6.30 on 7. Four, the most wanted compact four-wheel drive. Now with free air. So your hair's a little damaged? That's okay. Really damaged? Even better. Because the worse the damage, the harder this works to restore shine. Pantene Pro-V Treatment Conditioner. The pro-vitamin enriched formula fortifies hair all the way to the tips. It's damage control for vulnerable ends, so they actually split less. Pantene Pro-V treatment conditioners every day. For hair so healthy, it shines. The worse the damage, the harder it works. Monday's an especially fine day for the fresh taste of real 100% Australian orange juice. Daily juice for the freshest taste today and every day. Ooh. 
most days, here at the Kremlin, they go through a ton of caviar. For breakfast, for lunch, for any time, really. And they know that the difference between a fine caviar and a bunch of rotten ooh, fish eggs is a matter of a few degrees in the chilling. So, with this Westinghouse fridge, we're going to make sure that their caviar is always the finest. It's a better house with Westinghouse. Aussie kids are full of natural goodness. No wonder 9 out of 10 nutritionists recommend Aussie kids eat Weet-Bix. Never forget the facts. Labor left Australia a government deficit of over $10 billion. Under John Howard, the budget is in surplus by $2.5 billion. Under Labor, you paid mortgage rates as high as 17%. Under John Howard, we have the lowest interest rates in 28 years. Under Labor, welfare rorts were costing Australians a fortune. Under John Howard, crackdowns are saving the Australian taxpayer $46 million a week. The Howard government introduced work for the doll. Labor wants to scrap it. Don't let Labor sneak in on your preference vote. Authorised by Old Crosby for the Liberal Party Canberra. the world's purest elbow cream. <laughs> now all I need is 200 more whales, and I've got my first jar. Miff, have you finally worked out the formula for that new mustache bleach? <laughs> yes, it was right under my nose all along. Now I've got a meeting with Blythe. Do you know where she is? No, I haven't seen her since she was kidnapped. Mm. I hope nothing's happened to her. Listen, listen good. If you ever want to see Blythe again, press one now. If you would like to see her sent back to you in pieces, press two, three, four. Please hold. Our next available ruthless extortionist will attend to you shortly. <laughs> Fantastic anything. I'm drying out. <laughs> Tell me the formula. Never. Who are you? You'll never know. Oh, Slink, are you okay to look up when you leave? Yes. I mean, no. <gasps> oh, my job. Slink. Yes, that's me. I stole your secret formula, but I still don't know what it is. What it does. Haven't you worked it out yet? It does nothing. <laughs> That's how the cosmetics industry works. You take some crap, put it in a plastic jar with some gold writing and some meaningless words, and people bite by the truckload. <laughs> Terrific. You mean provide all, promisimal, omega-3, retin-A, they're all just meaningless words? Yes! But meaningless words, when rubbed into the skin twice daily, can have a remarkable effect. <laughs> want me to put this? How can you even think of that kind of thing when Blythe's gone missing? <laughs> Blythe means nothing to me. But the whole future of the Punt Institute depends on her. Punt means nothing to me. But what about the Zero Project? Zero means nothing to me. <laughs> it's you I want, Miff. Come closer, Newt. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. Oh, 
before. I was so alone. And then I realized you were in my arms all along. wander again up the Gold Coast. Excuse my breath, I've just had a stuffed olive and some blue cheese. Or poo cheese, as you can <laughs> Say hello to Nan's new day back though, Barry. Barry, you want some brunch? No? What's that, love? You'd like a stubby. All right, all right, I'll give him a stubby, kids. Here you go. <laughs> Bullseye. You know, kids, Barry and me are a bit like that show Skippy. No one else could understand that kangaroo except the boy Sonny. And no one else seems to understand Barry except me. Only I can read the nuances of Barry's crack. For instance, the other day in the spa, Audrey McIntyre's coming on strong. Barry's crack was screaming, not interested. Audrey didn't pick it up, made a fool of herself, dropped her keys in his crack. <laughs> Ten hours later, after a visit to intensive care, Barry was in no mood for playing around. <laughs> you did find that key to Audrey's storage unit. <laughs> Never a dull moment, kid. What's that, Barry, love? You'd like another ring? All right, here you go. <laughs> Kilrana, good evening, and welcome to Janino Dowd's wonderful world of ethnic ducks. Tonight I've got a simply wonderful treat for you. With the help of some of my very dear friends, I will be relating to you the epic Polynesian fertility saga in which a beautiful young princess is captured and ravished by the warrior chieftain of a neighboring atoll. I will take the part of the young princess. <laughs> Our story begins on a balmy evening by a sapphire blue lagoon. <laughs> Suddenly, the girl's quiet reverie is disturbed. to go to the Golden Boot Award. Footy's Night of Nights with Donna, Mandy and Simone's team in disarray this evening. The shock departure of Michelle early this morning means a replacement blonde must be found to partner one of Footy's big names and make up a table of eight at the awards dinner. We cross live now to the Hyatt Food Court for the draft. Okay, Elle McPherson, it says here that you're a supermodel. Slash businesswoman. Come new mum. Elle, if a footy player comes up to you outside a nightclub and says you need a bigger set of tits, what would you do? I would knee him in the ball. Wrong. You would take it as it was intended, as a compliment. Okay, Elle, please answer true or false. At a function, is it beef for the boys, chicken for the girls? I think a person can have whatever they like. Evidently, you do. <laughs> Okay, Elle, listen, it's not that we don't like you, don't get us wrong, it's just that we hate your guts. <laughs> uh, okay, Tiffany, wow, your stats are pretty impressive, but can I say you've bleached your hair to the shit house and it looks great. Now, Tiffany, it's a long season, you have to give 100% eight nights a week, 73 weeks a year. There'll be times when you think you can't take any more. Well, you just can't take one more sip of house Chardonnay. When the cigarette machine is out of cigarettes. When your keeny line wax is growing back and you're chafing. Just keep going, because when the going gets tough, the tough 
get going. Or as we like to say, when the elbows get rough, the buff gets going. Before we make our final decision, is there anything you want to say to us? Your reputation doesn't do you justice. Your hair extensions are so obvious. Your fake tan is oranger than a can of Fanta, and your voice is great like month old big and tasty. <laughs> That's it. You're in. Welcome aboard. Here's your uniform. <laughs> Scissors, retractors, leeches, oh. chanting monk. How's he doing? I'll check the ECG. Beep, beep, beep. We're losing him. We're gonna have to sacrifice a goat. Um, wouldn't a course of antibiotics do the trick? Burn up the stake, ye evil witch, with ye foul talk of antibiotics. <laughs> to another episode of Runaway. I'm Flickadicky. <laughs> One of the friendliest, most welcoming places you could ever hope to visit is Ireland, the Emerald Isle, home of Blarney, Guinness, and some of the friendliest people you could ever meet. So let's go and meet some of the locals. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, typical twee little old Irish lady. Can you tell me the way to the pub in your charming, quaint Irish accent? Oh, f off, you daft c <laughs> Is that Irish enough for you? <laughs> Ireland is famous for is its gift of the gab. On any given night in any pub in Ireland, you can hear some of the world's best storytellers. River dance is shite. People are shite. My life is shite. And I intend to make everyone else's life around me shite. Of course, Ireland is also famous for its fantastic sense of humour and has produced some of the world's funniest comedians. <laughs> Um, there's this uh, this fella, right? <laughs> yes. I, I know that there's two. And um, anyway, uh, the. Um, uh... Well, kids, listen up. Here I am at the bottom of the garden, and I think I found one of the little people. F off, you stupid bitch! <laughs> Well, that's all from County Coit. There are no direct flights to County Coit and no one will give you directions. Things to do. Ask any local and they'll tell you the best thing to do is just f off. <laughs> I'm Flicka Dicky. See you next week. <laughs> The October issue of Which Car compares the Camry Conquest, New Falcon Futura, Commodore Acclaim and Magna Advance. Once again, Camry was the best buy. Simply because it can't be bettered in a blend of performance and economy. Surprisingly, perhaps it wasn't the bigger engine Falcon and Commodore which had the best acceleration, but rather the Camry. Test drive one to find out why Camry is Australia's best family six-cylinder car. You know what I really don't like? Peanut butter with oil on top. That's why I love Kraft peanut butter. It's never oily or dry. Kraft peanut butter. Never oily, never dry. Emergency! Come on! Right, what have we got? Excellent. Chinese restaurant. It looks pretty serious, mm. Doctor. Mm. It's very greasy. I was using chopsticks. Yes, they can be lethal in the wrong hands, young man. Can you save it, Doctor? It's my favourite shirt. We'll do our best. Right. Preen with Ultra Lift, shirt, washing machine. New Preen with Ultra Lift has an immediate bubbling action which penetrates, breaks up, and lifts out even the greasiest stain. You better take these for the next few weeks. New Preen with Ultra Lift, the great unstainer. Imagine Australia's parliament controlled by one nation. It would be a divided Australia. Without the Democrats, there could be fewer gun controls and large numbers of Australians could become second-class citizens. Imagine Australia with a tax on basic food that just keeps on rising. And a health system that divides the haves from the have-nots. Stop One Nation dividing Australia. For a certain future, vote Democrat first. Authorised by A. Bartlett, Australian Democrats, Barton.
every cigarette is doing you damage. Smoking creates blood clots, which can cause strokes. Some strokes kill, blind, or paralyze. Others you don't even know you're having. This is the result of a minor stroke in a smoker, aged 38. Every cigarette is doing you damage. If you're not in the cinema watching Nicolas Cage and Snake Eyes this coming Wednesday... You're the one that's going to be sorry. ...because you won't be the first to discover the suspense thriller of the year, and you'll miss out on the free exclusive Snake Eyes movie poster. So be there Wednesday and be scared. Fifty years ago, he disappeared. Now, half a century later, he's returned. You're the guy that they're looking for. That's a big secret about a man who's been dead for 50 years. He's still the same age, still the same person. It's gotta be him. But there's more than one thing about him. How, how did you do that? That's very, very different. Premiering Thursday, 7 This is the peaceful town of Generic City, a town characterized by its interesting Victorian terraces, Edwardian villas, and Californian bungalows, all sitting happily side by side. But beware, underneath this idyllic and character-filled exterior, a terrible danger lurks. Only these people can save Generic City. Meet Helen Hunt. Piers Brosnan and the annoying fat guy. I don't know, Pierce. Something's wrong here. I can feel it. What is it, Helen Hunt? I don't know, but I sense the presence of European appliances, of excruciatingly low ceilings, of two small French doors, of topiary kumquat trees. <laughs> Oh, my God! Where have all those houses of interesting periods and styles gone? They couldn't have been demolished overnight. Woo-hoo! Oh, yes, they could. Woo-hoo! <laughs> this seems going crazy. Woo-hoo! Look at this! <laughs> the ridiculous proportions, the tiny living spaces, yet huge cardboard. And if I'm not mistaken, they're fake Georgian windows. <laughs> oh, my God, guys, look at this! Mark Georgian! <laughs> one Victorian house on an average suburban block. Woo! Woo! Looks like we got the big one. Woo! Say no, I'm not Georgian. Woo! Woo! Annoying fat guy. Woo! Shut up. <laughs> Right, well, first of all, welcome to the meeting. Oh, you all right there, Val? You're looking a bit pale, dear. Oh, no, no I'm fine, Geraldine. Sorry. No, oh, fine. All right, take it easy. Have a glass of water, if you like. Right, now, first of all, a few apologies. Would you mind reading those out for me, Val? I've just got something, some little problem with my eyes. Oh, yes. Right, we've got a few sickies today. Uh, Brett Pedley, he's got that flowy thing, so he sends his apologies. Uh, Christine O'Mara and Tom O'Mara have headaches and gastro, unfortunately. Oh, now, we might just wait a few more minutes for Bunty Ogilvy. Uh, you know, yeah, 
How is Bunty? Well, the doctor's finally diagnosed the problem. Oh, good. Yes, apparently it's psychosomatic. Oh, yes, I heard that. It's very painful in a non-specific way. My doctor prescribed a placebo, which helped. <laughs> All right, well, I think we might move on and read out our letter from our patron, Christopher Scase. And he writes, Dear friends at Hypochondriacs Anonymous. Uh, you... Ooh, you right there. Oh, Geraldine. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, no, continue, continue. Yeah, you're it's right. all right. You want a hand with that? Well, all right, I'll continue on. Thank you for the wheelchair. I'd love to join you tonight, but I suspect I'm getting another terminal illness. Oh, oh Chrissy. Yes, love to you all in sickness, Christopher Scase. Well, look, I think we'll wind things up there, Val. I'm actually feeling a little bit headache. Oh, well, yes, I'm not 100%. Yes. And no. I'm not often sick, No, you're not <laughs> often sick. But I think it's stuffy in here and I felt a bit dizzy. Yes, <laughs> To you with your tricky, sneaky little questions that you know I can't possibly answer. <laughs> Foreign people are fine, but migrants what can't even speak English, like what I can, have no business. And if they have no business, we don't want them here. Except for lovely hostess Filipino ladies who would never ask me tricky, sneaky little questions because they can't speak English like what I can. That's what my party thinks. The Catholic Television Association presents Father Tom Stop It. In these modern times, change is to be embraced, but not at the expense of tradition. Women have gained all sorts of ground in society, academia, politics, and the media. And we must welcome that change, but not in the church. <laughs> this is not a blinkered, knee-jerk reaction, but the result of an awareness of the special duties and obligations that confront Catholic priests every day. <laughs> Shroud of Turin had a nasty stain in it. <laughs> it didn't, not with your own cousin. Mind you, there's a lot of it going around. Do you know Mark Johnson from Bible class? She's always fancied her brother. Anyway, gotta go. For your penance, say three Hail Marys. God go with you. You will not believe what I just heard. <laughs> books that we can get rid of, Julianne. We need to make room for some new models. I mean, Claudia Schiffer, she's an ugly dog. Ooh, yes, Linda Evangelista, too, Nicky. Kate Moss, fat and old. <laughs> yes, they've all let themselves go, those girls. Where are all the beautiful women these days? Uh... Yes? Lisa McCune's here for her appointment. Oh, let her in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a bit of a career challenge, so I'm here to audition for the Vogue fashion shoot. Photos! This yes. is my folio. Mm. Oh! Incredible photo! Yes! <laughs> now, can we see you walk, please? Just... Yes. <laughs> 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 no, darling. Let me show you how a professional does it. beloved young man to whom she had plighted her troth and from whom she knew she would be separated forever.
The October issue of Which Car compares the Camry Conquest, New Falcon Futura, Commodore Acclaim and Magna Advance. Once again, Camry was the best buy. Simply because it can't be bettered in a blend of performance and economy. Surprisingly, perhaps it wasn't the bigger engine Falcon and Commodore which had the best acceleration, but rather the Camry. Test drive one to find out why Camry is Australia's best family six-cylinder car. Really? Yeah, look, um, come back and I'll, I'll show you. This is uh, me and Pavarotti. Wow. Ah, John. Oh, that's Prince Charles. Oh, um, this is me and uh, uh, Nelson. Really? Uh, how long have you known... Mike? Mm. Oh, since he was an ankle biter. True photo quality and truly versatile. The new Epson Stylus Photo Printers. This is the last election of the century. This is the moment we decide what kind of Australia we want for the next century. My plan is for an Australia that restores the value of a fair go for everyone. I have a plan for a nation, not a plan for a tax. A tax Australia should never, ever have, because Australia deserves better. Authorised by Kim Beasley for the ALP Canberra. I'm just a simple, complicated woman. I do what I want. I can't do anything else. Contradiction, a new fragrance for a woman from Calvin Klein. Imagine having all the hold of a hairspray with flexibility for natural movement. Introducing new Schwarzkopf Extra Care with Elastin for flexible hold you can barely feel from Schwarzkopf. Breaker Extreme. Less filling so you can toss it down fast. GST at least 25 times. Wake up, Australia. Stop the GST on October 3. Vote Labour. Authorised by Barry Jones for the ALP Canberra. The Epson Stylus Photo is only part of the picture. There's a whole new range of Epson Stylus inkjet printers to choose from. Experience the quality for yourself. He's alive. Hang in there, mate. Can't you do something? With any changes in his behaviour, any warning sign? No! You think she deliberately harmed her baby? You do not have kids unless you're prepared to look after them. What is going on? Your work's been substandard all day. This isn't like you. Come on, sweet. Jasmine, are you alright? Don't miss a special All Saints Tuesday on 7. John Travolta in the comedy movie premiere Get Short Sunday. which has seen the divorce rate climbing and traditional family structures and values crumbling, Brian and Emily Parkinson have been happily married for 10 years. Brian and Emily, what went wrong? <laughs> no, just must have been more compatible than we thought. Yeah, we, we've tried everything. We've separated for a while, but we just missed each other. Well, one night we went out and both got really drunk and tried to pick up complete strangers. And what happened? We bumped into each other, we got along so well, we took each other home. <laughs> and how did that make you feel? Really guilty. It's hard to fight those basic animal urges to have sex with someone you love and respect. How are the kids coping? Oh, not very well. Our youngest Jeremy keeps getting teased at school. The other kids call him two-parent Jeremy. <laughs> our daughter Felicity came home the other day and asked what a stepfather was. Oh. It must be tearing you apart. Worse. It's pulling us closer together. Have you sought professional help? Yeah, we've seen a divorce counsellor. He suggested I work late and come home tired and frustrated. And did that work? No, we just enjoyed coming home even more. We'd have dinner. Which I cooked, I'm sorry. 
And then I'd give her a back rub. Oh, I feel so ashamed. Is there anything you want to say to young couples out there who might be making the same mistake? Yeah. Uh, look, if you find someone that you love and respect and want to spend the rest of your life with, just have sex with them and marry someone else. Brian and Emily, thank you. I need three CCs, eye of newt, lizard tongue and a virgin. <gasps> He's gone into arrest! I'll apply cardiovascular shock treatment. Oh, but all the equipment's broken and there's no money to replace it. Get out of my way! Clear! Your unmarried daughter is with child to former proctor. <laughs> Jen, this lady here, which one? The one with the frizzy perm? No, the one with the freckly chest. She hasn't got any money and she wants to know if I can keep this crop for her until tomorrow. Well, I think she'll have to leave her child because we don't know whether she's going to come back or not. And we've got a lot of people looking out for those crocs at the moment. No. Bye-bye. Now, girls, who wants to help me with my charity fundraiser auction for the Willara Theatre Company? I need donation. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't look at me, Pip. I am stretched at the moment. I've got the posh kids' kinder fate. I've got the overprivileged teen ski clinic. I'm flat chat. Don't? No, I've got to work for the doll person doing my garden at the moment. You should see what he's done to my mossy knoll. He's clipped it right back, sort of toperid style. It's bald as a badger now, you wouldn't recognise it. Oh, oh, well, I really want to help out the WTC because I'm right into patronising the arts the more. You know, I'm always patronising someone. Yes, you are, aren't you, Pip? You're always putting somebody down <laughs> on a list to do something. <laughs> Well, George, what could Graham offer? He's one of Australia's top cosmetic surgeons. Couldn't he offer us a free boob job or a bag lift? Yes, that would raise a bit. Well, a boob or a bag. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a scream? <laughs> oh, Pip, you could do what I did, you know, for the Stockbrokers in Crisis polo picnic. I did my mini goat's cheese pizza. Oh, they're a real wallet loose mm, now. Really? <laughs> How did that polo cool picnic go? Oh, it was great. Except you heard about the drama with Felicity's car? What? You know her BMW? Mm. Well, apparently she left it unlocked and she had a wide-open beamer. <laughs> really? All right, girls, come on back to work. Oh, well, I'm doing the reorders for the cookbooks. What have we got left? Right, I've got Delia Smith, art food, smart food and fart food. And I've got Julia Plays, new food, rude food, nude food and screwed food. <laughs> and I've got three o'clock time for a smorgore. Smorgore! <laughs> Look at the pan. I got a fly. I got to pick up Prince from daycare. Oh, okay. Bye, Mick. Oh, sorry, Michael. Anyway, got to fly. And welcome to another Crack of Dawn. I'm dawned upon me, and joining me today is Sue Merriman. And Sue, you're going to be telling us all about a festival with a difference. Yes, thanks, Dawn. Thank you. This year, Music of Eva and the Elizabethan Theatre Trust have collaborated to present the Festival of Hated Music. We were thrilled this year because it was really awful. We had some truly shocking artists appearing. We've got some clips here, Sue, of some of the lowlights from your Hated Music Festival. <laughs> That was Dame Keery performing. Yes, that was Dame Keery singing a modern pop song. I think you'll agree with me, that's universally hated. Oh, <laughs> yes, that is truly awful. Yes, we were thrilled. She got a standing booation for that. And after Dame Keery left the stage in disgrace, we had this guy on. We went down to the quarry to see Shit Thank you. What can people dread for next year's Festival of Hated Music? Yes, well, Dawn, we're aiming as low as possible, scraping the bottom of the barrel, hoping that dire straits will come. As many rap bands as we can get. I can promise you one thing. 
It's going to be foul. Well, thanks again, Sue Merriman. No, thanks, Dawn. It's been an imposition and a bore. Well, that wraps up another crack of dawn. And as always, here are Bevan and Shirley to dance up a storm. <laughs> Coming up on Talking Footy, new St Kilda coach Tim Watson, a behind the scenes look, vision you haven't seen before from the grand final, and we say farewell to Lee. Just imagine if everything was as easy as Telstra Call Connect 12456. Yeah, Telstra Call Connect. You call, we connect you, and you can get straight through. Telstra Call Connect 12456. Yep, it's that easy. One day I woke up and decided this is my body. And what matters most is how I feel inside. That's the day I woke up to Kellogg's Special K. A bowl full of carbohydrates and protein with calcium, iron and folate. It's 99% fat free. A food of strength that helps put me in charge. Of my life and my body. How special it looks. How special it feels. I woke up to Special K. Case of Bundaberg Premium, thanks. Good night then. Yeah, there's a great fancy dress party on down the road. Bundaberg Premium, please. Bundy Premium. Bundy Premium, please. Bundy Premium. Bundaberg Premium, please. So you're off to the uh, fancy dress party then, are you? No, we're having the neighbours round for a few drinks. Bundaberg Premium, when there's a good time brewing. <laughs> if you have a problem with weeds, do what I do. Use zero. It won't harm your pets, your kids, or the soil. It's absorbed quickly. And in a few days, it's killed the weeds. Fruits and all. The kids will love you for it. <laughs> and more than likely, so will the pets. Zero from Yates. Easy to use weeding brush now available. Zero weeds, zero worries. I've always thought there was something magical about the touch of silk. Oh sure, it's sensual, it's natural, but to me it's always been magical. Just like Sun Silk's shampoos and conditioners with silk proteins. My hair now has a softness and a depth of shine, which only comes from the touch of silk. Sun Silk, for the touch of silk. Never forget what happened in 93 when people protested against a GST. Labor snuck in and won with the help of preference votes. And then what did they do? They increased government debt to almost $96 billion. They took away your LAW law tax cuts. They blew the welfare budget out to $45 billion and put up taxes by a massive $10 billion. So be careful with your preference vote this Saturday because there's nothing to stop Labor doing it all again. Put Liberal before Labor with your preference vote. Authorised by Old Crosby for the Liberal Party, Canberra. This show's got it all. It's your in and unders versus your smalls and your talls. With more thrills. Those footy boys are a real worry, aren't they? <laughs> more spills. You ever see James driving down the street in one of those? Get out of the way. <laughs> more laughs. He looks just like my son Charles. And more football. This is a selection committee for the Chippendale boys, is it? <laughs> <laughs>